and admission from the Queensland Government. I want to sincerely apologise to Jonathan and Caleb. To two brothers who were failed for years. This should never have happened. Uh, this should not happen uh, in our country and it should not happen in our state. The boys who have autism were found severely malnourished, naked and locked in a room at their Stafford home in 2020. The harrowing details of their lives and evidence that multiple state government agencies had involvement with the boys for years were examined by the Disability Royal Commission. This abuse was preventable and the Queensland Government knew about it along the way. This case included um, many errors, uh, including the ability of departmental workers to access and share information with each other. So the complete picture of these children's lives was never really known or acted on. The Commission's report handed down today found the state could and should have done more to prevent the brothers from experiencing violence, abuse, neglect and deprivation of human rights. It made five recommendations, including the Queensland Government apologise, that an independent review be conducted and that the state considers redress for the boys. We need to look at all of the recommendations in a contemporary space, what's occurring right now, what have we changed, what have we done and what do we need to do to make sure that this does not happen again. The report also details how the brothers Caleb and Jonathan are going three years on. They live together in a suburban home with full-time support through the National Disability Insurance Scheme. They have their own bedrooms, wardrobes full of clothes and live in a safe environment. A stark contrast to the conditions they endured for years. Rachel Rieger, ABC News, Brisbane.